It's hot out today in Kansas City. It's been hot all week, but not as hot as Shot Tracker, which is who I'm talking to today. Davion Ross is the co-founder of Shot Tracker, and today I wanted to talk to him about what they're building, um, how the evolution of the product took place, some entrepreneurial lessons that he's learned along the way. We're also going to be talking with him about our streetcar app. Also, today I'm in front of the Kaufman Performing Arts Center, and I, um, for those of you who know the other stuff we do, the Disruption Institute, we teach people how to code. But uh, we also do a world-class conference that's called Compute Midwest. It's been in Forbes eight times, Fast Company, Inc., The Next Web. We've had world-class speakers, we, SpaceX. We had the guy who built the first iPhone for Steve Jobs. We've had the CTO of NASA. We've had amazing speakers right here in Kansas City. And this thing has been built light from the heart, just like Disruption Institute is in just like the streetcar app. And everything we do is to make an impact here in Kansas City. I know this conference is one of them. I've been to tons and tons and tons of amazing conferences. And what we've designed here is really special. It's meaningful, it's organic. And it comes, again, it's built from the heart. It's to inspire people. And you talk to anybody who's been to it, um, if they have a pulse, they've been inspired. And I hope that you'll join us. It's November 2nd. ComputeMidwest.com is the website and we'll have information on that soon. We're gonna have some early bird tickets. So go to computemidwest.com, sign up for the email um, list to get first access to a limited batch that we're gonna have going on sale very soon. Thanks so much for your support, Kansas City. This is episode 25 of Streetcar Stories. Uh, Shot Tracker is a wearable technology to track your basketball statistics and provides real-time statistics to basketball players and coaches. Yeah, so Shot Tracker has really evolved since uh, since its inception. Um, we initially we started off as a single person product. That is, you know, one one player, one ball, one hoop. Uh, kids shooting in the backyard, but it's really evolved into something that's been incredible for us. Um, now we have our Shot Tracker team product, which we can actually digitize a full basketball games, um, provide all the statistics, not only shot attempts, makes and misses, but also assists, turnover, and steals, and pretty much anything that would go in a box score other than foul. You know, we've signed a, a deal with Spalding. Spalding is the largest ball manufacturer in the world. Um, one of the biggest partners that we have is Clay Thompson. I mean, you know, Clay Thompson is the epitome of shot tracker. I mean, he's got probably the sweetest J in the NBA, and um, he believes in shot tracker. He endorses shot tracker. And when I look at like well, the evolution of basketball, I haven't really seen a lot of stuff that does it. And I think we have that opportunity. Um, I, I think with. You know, the people that we've brought together, I can't talk about all of them right now, but you're going to hear in a very short future some of the people that we've brought together. So the team that we've built, both internally and externally in the basketball market, and the technology that we're bringing will revolutionize the game of basketball. You know, when I, when I get old, I want I want to, I want my great grandkids to be like, yeah, my my, my great granddad is the one who, you know, did that first, you know, and, and helped to revolutionize the game of basketball. Yeah, you know, the advice I'd give to people who want to build something is um, build it, right? I always say, um, you know, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. And I think that there's a lot of people who have ideas, but they're either scared to jump on the bandwagon and make it happen just because of the risk of what can happen and the risk of failure. Um, the second thing I would say is like failure, we need to change our definition of failure. Failure in my mind is learning. And you know, we failed a bunch of times, you know, in the Shot Tracker life cycle. And um, every time we failed, we were that much smarter for the next decision that we had to make. Worship, you have to know that it's an emotional roller coaster and you got to pray for the, get prepared for the ride, you know. What, what I've learned is that nothing is ever as good or as bad as the first time you heard it, you know. So the first time there's that emotional like oh my goodness you know it's great or it's bad but then when you think about it it's, it's never ever as good so I try to be really even keeled um, you know celebrate the wins and my mentality is more about problem solving I don't think that I always like I live by there's always a way and where there's a will there's a way I don't care what it is there's always a way 
on the street car app. I was really impressed. I thought it was awesome. I love what the, the DI is doing, the Disruption Institute. Um, I love the opportunity that they provide to individuals who are trying to get their technology skills up. I think it's a, it's a really powerful app. It's a very handy tool, which is evident from the amount of downloads. It seems it's well built. Um, it's simple to the point. I mean, I think there's a lot of great things about the app, and I think that, um, you know, as, as the evolution, I'm excited to see the evolution of the app. And I think I love the, the intuition, right? And I like the initiative because, you know, that's that's I think that's that's key for me. You know, knowing that there was an app, seeing an opportunity. That's what entrepreneurs do, and it shows that DI is, is continuing to be entrepreneurs, be entrepreneurial and innovate, and not only in the classroom but outside the classroom in more practical senses.